guest for tonight. Welcome everyone and thank you for all tuning in here on Let's Jazz It Up with Lady Diva. Yes, the phone lines are open. 657-383-0771. Come on, give a call, give a shout out. Hey Darnell, The Bachelor, are you with me this evening? I am. All right, thank you. Thank you for coming in. Tell us where you're calling from. I am calling from Decatur, Mississippi. Oh, wow, Mississippi. Hello, Mississippi fans. What ha- has motivated you to do that song, A Real Man? I love it. Um, A Real Man basically consists of um, me saying what a, what a real man is like. You know, um, saying that I'll be that shoulder that you can cry on, um, and I'll be the one you can call on, and you know I'll take you anywhere you want to go because that's what a real man does. So I was just sitting there thinking of all the things that a real man um, will do for a woman. 
Hicks wrote the song. Oh, wow. Thank you for that track. I know the ladies are crazy about it. So tell us how your music journey began. Did it begin when you were a young boy? Oh, uh, my music journey began. I was uh my I I was raised in the church, so you know, and I used to listen to music all the time and um I always wanted to uh be a a singer and entertainer. And um I used to listen to my dad preaching, um listen to how the deacons and stuff is singing and stuff when they done like the uh uh devotion and my grandmother used to make me get up in front of the family and be like, Hey, uh preach like your daddy used to preach, son. Huh? Preach preach like your daddy <laughs> preach and I'd sit up there and I'll act like I was preaching and stuff and then she like sing like the deacons, sing like the deacons and I would act like, you know, be like, I, I love the Lord. <laughs> He heard my cry, you know, and so I did that as a little kid, and it just, and my mom, she used to always listen to blues, and all I really knew was church and blues, mostly blues, because, you know, and I just listened to all the blues, and that just inspired me right there, so I just been singing all my life. Right, right. So, we're going to move a little bit more. Um so why did you name your album Back to My Roots? Well, I went through a situation in my life and and I thought back to myself, well, you know what? The only way that I could move on from this situation is to go back to my roots. So I left back so I left from where I was and came back home uh, to you know, why I was born and raised. And that right there, and I went to some people that I knew, you know, who I, I grew up in the church with, and I was like, man, I am I had to come back to my roots to find myself again. So Right, right. That's why I titled the song Back to My Roots. Oh, okay. So where when did uh, Mr. Rogers come out? I see that song is very popular. What made you come up with uh, Mr. Rogers and uh, the title of that name, Mr. Rogers? What motivated you or what inspired you to come up with that song? Um, when you when you with uh, someone and and they're not uh, appreciative of what a man can do for you, uh, what you what I did was since a person wasn't appreciative what uh, a man would um, do for you Then I'll just go ahead and let the world know You know, let all the ladies know What a what a man's supposed to do for you And what a man should be able to do for you Maybe there's somebody out there Who appreciates um, What a man's supposed to do For a woman So that's, uh, that, that's what inspired me To write that song Oh, okay Thank you for that information I would like to play the track um, Mr. Rogers. Uh, you have anything else, uh, any other information about Mr. Rogers you'd like to give right now before I spin it? Well, I was uh, going through a situation and I, um, when I came back home and my homeboy called me. He said, uh, man, won't you, won't you uh, write a blues album? I said, a blues album? Man, ain't finna write no blues album. You know, my, my daddy and my mama ain't finna go for that. No blues. You know, my daddy preacher, he said, hold on, boy. You have to live your life for you now. He said, now, you, you, you need you going through something right now. You need to write about it. And then I thought about it for, you know, for a good old week. And I and I and um I said, you know, I'm going to go to the studio. I couldn't think of nothing like blues because all I knew was, you know, it was the old blues songs and I knew church and at that particular time the only thing I knew was just church and I was like got to the studio and I sat there and I was like now what is it that the whole world who is it that the whole world know that's good you know I ain't never really yeah. heard nothing bad about Mr. Rogers ever right. and I just said right. hmm so what I'll do is I'll be a Mr. Rogers, you know? Okay. And, and that's okay. who I am anyway. So I, And I just started writing in the studio, and I laid it down, laid that one down, and then I wrote another one in the studio called A Woman Like You. 
and which is significant, which is a, a basically about as popular uh, as uh, Mr. Rogers. And and then 30 days later, I put them online, and here we are. All right. Well, you stay in your seat, Darnell the Bachelor, and we'll be right back. Here is Mr. Rogers. The Bachelor. All right. All right. I love it. I love it. We have a caller that's uh, called in. Uh, area code 336. Please state your name. Caller? Georgia Sweet Pea. Georgia Sweet Pea. Hello, Georgia Sweet Pea. Thank you for calling in. You have something to say? Well, I'm just calling in. To let uh, Darnell the Bachelor know that I was out here supporting him. I love his music. All right. You hear that, Darnell? GG. Hey, <laughs> G. 